Hello, everyone. And today we have with us Mr. Darshan Kamli, and he is here to share some of his experiences. So before moving ahead with the interview, please tell us something about yourself. Yes, I would like to tell that I am an electrical engineer student, currently pursuing my bachelor's in electrical engineering from Pillay to C College of Engineering. I am currently placed in TCS. That's all about me. All right. So could you brief us about the company you are currently joined in? TCS is a service-based company. It is the second largest company, IT company in India. They basically provide services in many engineering and banking sectors. Okay, so brief us about your job profile that you have been selected for. I am selected for assistant system engineering, engineer. Uh, and talking about the profile, I don't know much about it because that is not clear from the PCS side. It can be changed according to business requirement. So I don't have anything to say about it. Okay, so was it a campus placement or like how was the question and answer process handled during the interview? Would you like yes. to speak about it? it? Yes, it was a campus placement. Uh, I got this opportunity from my campus. Uh, and talking about the question and answering, it was pretty much simple questions. Not that much that I I have prepared. I was prepared for more tough questions, like more difficult questions, but and they didn't ask me any kind of tough question. The questions were very simple and with basic knowledge, I was able to answer them very properly. Okay, so what are the skills that are needed for your job profile? Could you show us some of the tips that you want to give us? So before applying in TCS, the, the opportunity that I get from my campus TCS didn't, didn't they declare or didn't they specify any kind of skill that required. They just specified the education that, that is required and rest of that it was, I think I didn't prepare that much. It was easy for me. So they didn't tell me what skills should we have, but yes, uh, preparing for aptitude, I prepare a lot in reasoning skills and coding skills. Okay, so would you mention some of the resources and the platforms for gaining such skills and for like shaping the skills that you mentioned? Uh, platforms, so LinkedIn, LinkedIn or Udemy. Uh, I think Udemy is the best platform to learn coding and rest of I just preferred the material that I got from Google that then some of materials were given to me by my teachers and TOP, TPUs. Okay, so any tips that you want to give us to our future aspirants who wants to continue with your job profile? Uh, tips. I would like to say that just know in what domain do you want to work at. You want to work at, as a software developer, you want to work as a programmer analyst or anything. Just clarify yourself that yes, this is the domain I want to work in and start preparing according to that. That's the biggest tip I would give to the viewers of interview. All right. So what has been your experience overall facing from the interview time? Still getting selected, what has been your experience up till now? Yes, my total experience was very good. It was a good positive experience. Yes, it was a positive experience. All right. So thank you so much, Mr. Darshan, for joining in with us today. And it was good talking to you. Thank you so much.